Hey YouTubers, well you may have heard they're voting for a new Pope. Um, by this time I send the, put the video out then maybe there is a new Pope. But the fact is there's at this point in time they've had three votes and, and nobody yet. So black smoke in the chimney. Holy smoke. Yeah, uh, waiting for that white smoke to appear. Now in the meantime the press are standing around getting a bit bored and they're saying to people, um, usually nuns, they seem to find a nun, there's plenty of them in the Vatican, so who do you want to be vote? Oh, I couldn't possibly say, I couldn't possibly say, you know, oh no, it's not for me, it's for the Holy Fathers, does it say? Da, da, da. And it's getting very boring. But let's face it, they're in there and they've got a bit of a problem on their hands. Their problem on their hands is they've got to find a cardinal amongst them who is squeaky clean, really squeaky clean, clean you know, like that chamois leather squeaky clean, when the very last fly on your windscreen, squeaky clean. And he's got to be clean. Because if he's not, someone's going to stand up and go, oh, hang on a minute, he's gay, or something like that. So, he can't be gay, hmm, reduces it a bit. He can't be, um, obviously, involved in any scandal whatsoever. Um, on top of that, he can't be a victim either, because there's going to be a lot of cardinals there that are those people who made uh, problems for others, let's say. Um, possibly, allegedly, just to cover myself. But like Keith, old Keith O'Brien, who would have been there um, had he not been caught for being gay and, and molesty. But we did another video on that, didn't we? So we won't bother with that. Um, yeah, so they've got to, they've got to be, not be victims either, because they don't want him sort of turning up and saying, right, retribution time, you. You're number one, you're number two, number, you know, like that. We don't want it. But we'll see how that goes. Uh, but... But, 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 I'm doing a lot of buts. Head butts, head butts. Anyway, um, but <laughs> this week, or next week, I should say, the 20th or something, I forgot the date, but this month, we also have the second largest, largest group of Christians, the Anglicans, the Church of England, are getting a new leader. Yes, the Archbishop of Canterbury, we're getting a new one. We know who the Archbishop of Canterbury is. Yes, we found out a few months ago because basically uh, the bookies were taking bets on who it was gonna be and they found a lot of sort of high-ranking church officials that were putting their bets on Justin Welby. And if funny enough, it was Justin Welby, so uh, all, all bets were off. They thought we'd better get this out because uh, there's people making money out of this. Um, so they told us, a bit before time apparently. Um, who's Justin Welby? Well, he's a fairly recently ordained bishop that uh, has been doing particularly well in his own church. Uh, apparently he's, he's got thousands of new members because he's been doing a thing called the Alpha Course. The Alpha Course is a type of brainwashing where you can take anybody apparently, including agnostics and probably myself. I, I even fancy having to go on one of these courses just to see if it's possible for me to be converted. I've got my doubts. I've already looked into it and uh, Alpha Courses um, do bring up a lot of the issues that creationists bring up, in fact, but without the creation bit um, because that really would sort of over here they're not that stupid um most most i won't say all because there are some but uh, anyway beside the point um let me think yes what else has justin Welby been doing well he hasn't actually been ordained yet but he's this week in the news he had a go at the government yes yeah, straight into politics can't believe it can you uh, can't make it up straight into politics forget everything else now I personally want world peace. I love world peace. I, I wish we could all get along in harmony. We could all hold, hold hands and jump around in a big circle. It'd be great, you know, great fun. Well, unless you're in a wheelchair, we just, just, just don't jump around, but we'd, we'd, well, we'd help you out. Because we like that. We like helping people out. Um, helping people out is within our society. Um, you know, having, having feelings for the, those less fortunate is something we mostly all, there's a few, probably a few schizo psychopaths or something that probably don't care, but um, generally we all have these feelings of love of the community, trying to be nice to people, blah, blah, blah. But it's very easy to make a speech saying, well, let's help the poor, let's, let's, let's help everybody, let's, let's stop world famine. Um, easy to do, make the speech that is, it's easy to actually do it is a different thing. Now, we in Britain have been 
going through a bit of a difficult time in in the money sense lately. We're skint, basically, pretty skint. We're running out of money, and uh, this is mainly because of the massive increase in welfare that went on, uh, amongst other things. I mean, it's not just that, but uh, certainly the massive increase in welfare is now dragging us down. Because when we had the money, it was fine, but now we haven't got the money, well, we can't really afford it, to be honest. And that is a fact of life. It doesn't matter what your politics, politics are, it's a fact. You know, we can't afford it. But what did Justin Welby do in his first speech? Well, he criticised the government for um, saying that they're going to cap welfare at a 1% increase, whatever the inflation rate is, uh, for the next three years. So it's over the next three years, for now. And he criticised this, saying it will just make everybody even poorer. It will just be appalling. Now, I'd like to put this into perspective. In 2006, I took a wage cut. Um, I took a wage cut at the time, really, so that I could put more money into the business and, and keep building it etc and try and do better. Um, it's lucky I did really because uh, things got really bad after that by the time you hit with 2007 hit it was it was getting pretty poor and things started taking a downturn. Now in that time I've never had a wage increase and several of my staff have had to take cuts in hours or cuts in wages and I don't like that I hate that um, I hate doing it but you have to because it's the way businesses are run it's the way that if, if you don't do it you just don't survive it's as simple as that now on a governmental scale and as you're into politics now Mr Justin Welby because um, straight in there uh, on, on that scale then these things have to be done, whether you like it or not. It doesn't matter if you like the, who's in power at the moment or not. I personally don't, but it doesn't matter who's there. They've got to make those cuts. They've got to do those things. Why? Because we're working so bloody hard so that they can sort it out. Um, the people who are at work are working very hard indeed to keep their jobs, to keep everything going. And many of my friends have taken wage cuts plus extra hours to try and make things better. In the meantime, welfare has been going up by a percentage every year in line with inflation. Well, the inflation is higher. If you noticed, no more money coming in, but inflation's going up for everybody. So we have less money to spend. That's the way it bloody works. You know, it's sad, it's awful, but it's the way it bloody works. And if you had it half a brain, then you would realise that. And criticising uh, such things like an increase in welfare is just shows what a dickhead we're going to have to put up with. Um, and that's just a start. He hasn't even been, you know, ordained yet. Uh, we look forward to that one. Um, as I say, uh, we'll come to more of Justin Welby in the future. I have very little doubt. Uh, certainly the Alpha course, um, I'm going to look into that more and inform you on how it works. So, um, peace for now. That was long enough. Take care and let's... Look forward to the new Pope. Oh, another thing, while I'm thinking of the new Pope, I do hope it's not a black Pope. I really do. And that is not because I'm racist. Um, got nothing to do with that whatsoever. It's just so that we don't have to listen to that bloody William Tapley go on about the fucking Antichrist again and the Dark Lord of the Vatican. He would just love it. And for that very reason, I hope it's not a black Pope. But, who knows? Ah, oh, it'll be unbearable. Take care, bye.